One more example, the Parthenon, to show that this geodetic knowledge was still extant down to the time of the building of the Parthenon, about 2,400 years ago. This is the east facade. We're all familiar with the Parthenon. It's almost as well known as the Great Pyramid. Well, if we measure its base in the manner that I'm showing here, it's 100 Greek feet. So how long was a Greek foot? A little bit longer than our modern foot of 12 inches. Before we do that, let's look at the dimensions of the Parthenon. Based upon our American feet that we use, the east facade is 101.2957 dot 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 feet. So if we divide that by 100, we get the length of the Greek foot, which would have been 1.0129, etc., of our American which are actually the Eng British feet. Okay, I better write that down so we don't forget it. That's good enough right there. There's the width of the Parthenon measured in our American feet. And uh, also notice the latitude of Athens, where the, where the Parthenon is located, is 37 degrees, 58 minutes north. And I'm going to write that down, 37 degrees, 58 minutes. So it's almost, almost 38 degrees north. And here we have... Based upon numerical and proportional relationships augmented by extensive analysis of ancient structures, artifacts, and texts, Stachini, who was considered one of the preeminent metrologists of the 20th century, he determined various lengths of the foot. He came up with the Greek foot of 1.0114064. Now notice here we've got the width of the east facade of the Parthenon divided by 100 gives a Greek foot of 1.0129 1 .1, for a difference of 0 0.018 inch in excess of the length of the Greek foot as calculated by Stichini. It is acknowledged by architectural historians that the Parthenon was originally built to be 100 Greek feet in width. This would have made it equal to 101.14 English feet when built. Now if we go back to the length of one degree of the meridian, and we look right here at the latitude of Athens, we find something very interesting. Length of one degree of the meridian at the latitude of Athens is 68.962 miles or 364,121.647 feet. So if we take that number and divide it by 60, it gives us the length of one minute of meridian arc. Then we divide that meridian arc by 60. It gives us one second of meridian arc. And notice what one second of meridian arc is, 101.1449 feet. So one second of meridian arc at 38 degrees north latitude, given the international ellipsoid and the Clark ellipsoid, you'll know here that it's exact. So in other words, what we have there, the total difference in length of one second of meridian arc at 38 degrees north latitude, and the east facade of the Parthenon is 0 0.05 inch. But again, that's for 38 north latitude, and it's actually at 37.58. So if we make that adjustment of two minutes of arc south, this 0 0.05 pretty much just disappears into nothing. So what we have is the Parthenon, again, maybe coincidence, but here we have the Parthenon, being precisely one second of arc of the Earth's circumference at that latitude that it's placed. Now again, that implies somebody was able to measure the Earth with incredible precision, if this isn't a coincidence. And I think the burden of proof would be on the person who tries to dismiss this as being coincidental. Because the two examples I've shown you here could be multiplied many times over. We haven't even talked about the Gothic cathedrals and the fact that every Gothic cathedral was built with its own cubit. And that cubit is based upon 
a multiple or a subdivision of the meridian length at the latitude that the cathedral was built. So you could take many examples of this, and what I'm suggesting here is not necessarily that the Gothic cathedral builders of 800 years ago were able to measure the earth with that accuracy, but then again it does seem to imply that somebody was, that somebody was able to measure the earth, that maybe there has been a tradition going back to who knows when from the building of the pyramids coming down through the, the age of the Greeks, right down to the building of the Gothic, European Gothic cathedrals 800 years ago, a, a tradition of very sophisticated geodetic knowledge. Well, again, this, this opens up a huge can of worms about when people were supposed to, what they knew and when they were supposed to have learned it. 